Dr. Nahid Bedelia, uh, she's the medical director of the Special Pathogens Unit at the Boston University School of Medicine. She's also been uh, a frequent contributor, expert contributor to this program. Dr. Bedelia, it's good to see you. Um, let me just get you to react first to our the testing uh, conversation that um, you heard from Admiral Jawa there. Um, is, is, from your perspective, what should our testing strategy be right now? Chuck, thanks so much for having me. I will agree with Admiral Girard that testing is part of a national public health response strategy to this coronavirus pandemic. Um, the trouble, though, is that there's so much disease activity in our community is, is that the, just setting an absolute limit or number of tests that we need doesn't work because that's a moving target. We continue to need more tests as our outbreak grows bigger. And, and the quickest way to sort of talk about how we are both behind testing and the level of disease activity that we have is in the U.S., every time we test about 12 people, the 13th person may turn out to be positive. In U.K., it takes them 235 people to find a positive person. In Germany, it's a little over 150 before they find a positive person, just telling you how much disease we have in this country. And not only that, but we're about 4% of the world population, and we account for about 23% of the coronavirus, cumulative coronavirus deaths so far in this pandemic. The trouble is that testing our testing strategy and public health strategy needs to sort of link with the lifestyle that we want to pursue in the middle of this pandemic. If we're looking to only test people who are sick, then we have to kind of roll back reopenings and not, you know, create an environment in which asymptomatic cases continue to transmit this disease and we're always behind. If we want to contact trace, we need to not only increase the number of tests, but actually bring down the disease activity, as you and the Admiral talked about, to be able to accomplish that. But here's what we want to do. We want to actually come back to some amount of normalcy. We want to go visit your grandmother. You need a test that comes back sooner than a week later. If you're in open schools or universities, you need not only more tests, but you actually need tests that are closer to the consumer. Maybe rapid tests that you know people can do at multiple levels that may not be as accurate, but immediately give you a sense. The trouble is that our aspirations of the type of lifestyle that we want to lead do not match with our current right. resources. I'm curious, do you uh, concur with the Admiral that if we had 90 to 95 percent compliance on mask wearing nationwide, we'd get control of this, um, we'd get control of this virus? Absolutely. In conjunction with the mask wearing in conjunction with avoiding crowded indoor spaces and keeping an eye on sort of the disease activity in the community, we could bring this, you know, this pandemic under control. The other things that might help are, are these rapid diagnostics, but also if we have some sort of big breakthrough in medical countermeasures or, or treatments, you know, that might decrease the mortality. I think that will go a long way in helping us control this pandemic before the vaccine is available. Uh, Dr. Bedelia, I'm going to have to leave it there. It just feels like I, let me. It just feels like we're on a uh, a hamster wheel here with this virus, and it doesn't seem like anything's really going to change until there's a vaccine. Is that is that fair to say at this point? Well, I, I think the if we have more rapid tests, as I mentioned, and the countermeasures, it'll help. But you know. What we have, we're in an inflection point. We're at a point where we're going to look at this moment the way we look at Memorial Day, where we're going to say we have a decision in front of us, whether or not we lock down partially or completely to allow for potentially schools and colleges to start. With, by all evidence so far, says that's going to lead to more cases. Um, I do think that that's a decision we need to make qu more quickly than we are currently. I'll leave it there. Dr. Bedalia, as always, thank you for your expertise for our viewers. Up next. Hello from Washington. I'm Chuck Todd, and thanks for checking out the Meet the Press channel on YouTube. Click on the button down here to subscribe and click over here to watch the latest interviews, highlights, and other digital exclusives.